Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to implement multiple models in a single view page using view back. And here we got the final output on the browser. We have added multiple models in a single view page using view back. Notice in this country model in this table, the country names are India, US and Australia. Let's check in my database also. See here is the country table which contains two columns CID and C name India, US and Australia. And the second one is the state table which is this one. And the last one is a city table. This one. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. I am choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1 I am using. And the application name is Multiple Models single view view back click ok and from the templates I'm choosing MVC4 click ok and here the project is successfully created let's close this window now first in this project I'm adding the idword.net entity models open solution explorer right click the project name add edward.net entity data model the model name is multiple model click ok and from the model contents I'm selecting the first option EF designer from database next I'm creating a new connection The server name of SQL Server. After adding the server name, I am selecting the database name. Sample DB database test connection is succeeded. OK. OK. And, and here is the connection string. And I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file. And the connection string name is the sample db entities. Click next. From the database objects, I'm expanding the tables folder as well as dbo. I'm selecting three tables. One is a city, country table, and the third table is a state. I have chosen three tables. So I am creating three models. Click finish. And here we got the three tables entity models. Now let's create the classes in models folder open solution explorer. I am minimizing the references folder. Models folder right click that one add class the first model class name I'm giving country class add now in this country class I'm adding the public properties public int the first property for the country table I have two columns so I'm creating two properties one is a CID which is a country ID and the second one is a C name country name CID get set public string C name get set. Next, we'll create the second model class open solution explorer. Right click the models, add class, and the class name is a uh, state class add 
I am creating a public properties in this state class public int in state table I have three columns SID which is a state ID state name and CID which is a country ID SID get set public string s name get set public int cid get set now i'm creating the last model for this city table open solution explorer i took the models add class the class name i'm giving city class add now in this city class I am creating the public properties of this city table public int for the city table I have three columns city id city name and SID is a state id city id get set public string city name get set the last one is a public int state id get set that's it i have created three classes one is a country class state class and city class these are the model classes now my aim is i want to implement these three classes in a single view page so after adding the model classes let's create the controller open solution explorer right click the controllers name add controller I'm selecting MVC file controller empty add the controller name is multiple controller add and here we got the controller also the first thing I'm adding the models namespace using my project name is a multiple models viewback dot models after that I'm creating a new method public list class in this list class I'm adding the country name table name country get country is a method name sample db sd is equals to new sample db entities sample db entities is my connection string name list country i'm creating an object loc is equals to sd dot the countries dot to list method return loc object I'm creating a new method for the state instead of writing a whole thing copy this one paste here what I'm doing I'm deleting the sample db entities this one I put at the top list state the state is a table name get state is a method state sd dot states need to change this one also st written st let's copy this paste here and this is the last method i'm creating for the city get city method name city table name sd dot 
cities. I'm changing the object name city. The right hand is the object city. After creating the methods, now in this action result index method, I'm adding the methods get country, get state, and get city. View bag dot country name is equals to get country is a method name. This method name view bag dot state names is equals to get state method and the last method view bag dot city name is equals to get city method that's it we have done the coding part in the controller now the final step we need to add the index view page so before creating an index view page let's build a solution and here the project is built successfully now right click the index action result index method right click add view the view name is index only and the template empty without model I'm choosing add and here we got the index view page also first in this index page and using I'm adding my project name this one multiple models in a single view using view back horizontal line I'm adding center tag H1. I'm adding my first model country model horizontal line. I'm adding table TR TH table header is a country ID TH is a country name. The table border is equals to 1. For each loop at the country table name country COU in I'm adding the view back country names TR TD at COU dot CID column, country ID column TD at COU dot C name, which is a country name. That's it, we have added the first model country in the view page index. Now let's add the second view page I'm just copying this part state model state id table headers are state name in the state table I have three columns and the last column is a country id I'm deleting the country now I'm adding the state table ST in view back dot state name copy this one
paste here at st dot state id td at st dot state name td at st dot city id now the last model city i am adding let's copy this one paste here city model city id city name and the last one is a uh, state id I'm deleting the state table from the for each loop. Here I'm adding the city table name as a CI in. I'm deleting the view back dot state name. I'm adding the view back dot city name. At CI dot city ID. td at ci dot city name td at ci dot state id that's it we have done the complete coding part the three models are how implemented in the index view page in a single view page using view back method now before run this application one important thing is we need to change our controller name in the route.config file app underscore start expand that one route config.cs open that one and notice here the controller name is a home which is a default one I'm deleting that one my controller name is a multiple it's a controller name I'm adding here between these double quotes controller and I'm not changing the action result index only this page. Now it's time to check the results on the browser, Google Chrome. And here we got the final output on the browser. We have added multiple models in a single view page using view bag. Notice in this country model, in this table, the country names are India, US and Australia. Let's check in my database also. So here is the country table which contains two columns CID and C name India, US and Australia. And the second one is the state table which is this one. And the last one is a city table. This one. That's it.